In the shadowed back streets of Washington, D.C., adjacent to a dimly lit McDonald's, a chilling scene unfolded. A dispute as seemingly trivial as one over sweet and sour sauce had led to an atmosphere thick with tension and hostility. The night sky overhead, indifferent and vast, shrouded the city in a haunting coldness. The 1900 block of 14th Street, northwest, was about to be indelibly scarred. As the early hours of Sunday morning approached, the sterile corridors of a local hospital echoed with the grim news. A teenage girl, Naima Ligon, lay wounded, the life ebbing from her young body. It wasn't long before she was lost to the abyss. The media, including giants like the Washington Post, NBC Washington, and W Top, were abuzz with the tragic narrative. Amidst the cold concrete and flashing neon signs of the McDonald's, a confrontation had taken a devastating turn. Naima, after attending a party, had been rushed to the hospital in a desperate race against time, in a private vehicle. The city's Metro Police had, meanwhile, tracked down another 16-year-old girl, a peer of Naima from Waldorf. With a chilling finality, she was charged with second-degree murder while armed. In her possession was found a tool of her grim design, a knife cold and sharp. The labyrinthine halls of D.C. Superior Court echoed with Detective Brendan Jasper's testimony. The CCTV footage, an unflinching observer, showcased a grim dance. While Naima and a companion seemed to have the upper hand initially, the tables turned dreadfully. The accused, who had appeared passive at first, unleashed her wrath with a 7.5-inch pocket knife as her weapon of choice. With two strikes, Naima was fatally wounded. Only a block away, the young suspect was apprehended, leaving behind a trail of regret and dread. Amidst the dark narrative, there lay a tale of a group of teenagers who journeyed from Oxen Hill, Maryland, seeking a party, only to have their night end in unspeakable tragedy at a McDonald's. The courtroom, a place of cold justice, resonated with the defense's plea. The accused had acted in self-defense, a lamb thrust into a world of wolves. But D.C. Superior Court Judge Sherry Beatty Arthur's voice rang out clear and unwavering, highlighting the bleak absurdity of it all. At the end of the day, someone is dead over a dispute over sauce. Outside the courtroom, grief draped over Naima's mother, Joy Ligon. Her voice, trembling yet strong, spoke of the void left behind by her daughter. A student at Thomas Stone High School, Naima was on the brink of a new academic year filled with hopes, dreams, and the zest for life. Principal Shanif Pearl, in a heart-wrenching message to the school community, called for collective mourning. As the school stood at the cusp of a new dawn, it was instead wrapped in a shroud of darkness, tragedy, and loss.